Hello guys and welcome. I hope that you're doing well. My name is Yuji D King or I play 4K AK. I play 8K AK. I play 16K. And during this video actually it's going to be I play 7K. Do that I'm going to test Mechabellum game running in 7k video resolution it's going to be 7k video resolution red cinema standard it's very unusual but we're going to have some monitors with this resolution in 2025 2026 it's a little bit smaller than 8k it's going to give you some room of more fps and the visual experience is almost the same. So before we're going to jump into Mechabellum game, let me real quick go ahead and use the Windows Magnifier Zoom tool so you can see what's going on. Please watch this video at least on 4K UHD screen. I'm going to record in 4K UHD screen. When I'm recording um, and playing screen in 8K UHD, I'm going to record in 8K UHD. When it's below 8K UHD, I'm going to record in 4K UHD. So this is 7K UHD. The experience is almost as native 8K UHD, almost the same. It's kind of hard to see. This is the system that I'm running today from 2018. Intel Core i9-9900K, which is Intel 9 generation processor overclocked to 5.1 GHz or 5100 MHz. 16 logical cores, 16 logical threads or eight physical cores and hyper trading technology is enabled avx instruction is set to 5100 megahertz per every single core or 5.1 gigahertz as well i put some e-64 cache and memory benchmark for those who's curious let me zoom in a little bit more so this is cpu z this is the motherboard asus z390 chipset maximus 11 here Memory will be 32 gigabytes DDR4, one of the fastest. It's it's running um, 3200 megahertz as you can see, 1600 megahertz times two external frequency 3200 megahertz, but not CL18, not CL16, not even CL14, CL11, 1T command. The low latency is better, the low value. Dual channel 128 bit. My cache. Um, a third uh, level on CPU is overclocked from. Uh, 34 multiplier to 48 multiplier so I'm running from 3.4 gigahertz to 4.8 gigahertz or 4800 megahertz on level 3 cache on my CPU this is the last cache after CPU is communicating with the system RAM which is DDR4 in our case okay uh, this was actually one of the fastest DDR4 it was 5000 megahertz CL18 by Corsair but unstable on this motherboard anything above 3800 megahertz is unstable somehow and uh, there is no somehow it's using the micro technology chips and I think this is the issue because I use the micro technology chips when you're using a system RAM DDR4 and you're trying to overclock your DDR4 above 400 4000 megahertz successfully you want to use Samsung B die chips for DDR4 Okay, micro technology chips loves the latency but hates the frequency. So latency is CL11, the low value is better. Okay, the difference between latency and frequency. Let me give you a, a tip for those uh, beginner overclockers, beginner PC hardware enthusiasts. So uh, frequency brings a lot of bandwidth. The higher value bandwidth, megabytes per second, gigabytes per second is better. Latency brings the low latency in terms of the NS, nanoseconds, communication between the processor and system RAM. So the, uh, uh, the lower uh, time, which is in nanoseconds, the better. So the low value is better. But higher bandwidth is better. Higher value on bandwidth is better. Megabytes or gigabytes. So here is the deal. Okay, so you want to take the read, write, and copy value divided by latency in nanoseconds to find out how much data you can push on one nanosecond. When your latency will be lower, uh, let's say CL12 and then CL11, CL11 will show you lower latency right here. So it's going to actually push more bandwidth for per one nanosecond. So the key in DDR4, DDR5, DDR3, DDR6 will be um, the latency you want to keep lowest and the frequency as high as possible. But you want to kind of... Uh, optimize that and to keep the fastest possible scenario and to find out read write copy value divided by latency in terms of nanoseconds okay 
So Titan RTX video card at the uh, NVIDIA Turing GP architecture flagship video card from 2018 just like my processor Intel 9 generation processor okay right now it's running I'm running the secondary Titan RTX my first Titan RTX needs to be repaced so it's losing about 30% of the performance it's running very hot in any games it's running like uh, 86 Celsius immediately and it's dropping the frequency like to 1900 megahertz so it needs to be repaced uh, this one I didn't use I use in a secondary system sometimes so this one running nice but this one cannot overclock I cannot overclock the memory that high due to 1600 16,000 megahertz which is 8,000 megahertz times 2 because GDR6 16,000 megahertz um, external frequency I cannot do that because 900 megahertz on the Titan RTX on this one running NVIDIA thermal compound paste uh, without the repasting it's freezing after 30-40 minutes keep that in mind when I'm overclocking like that even 900 megahertz but uh, while I use the IC diamond thermal compound pads I was be able to run um, the frequency overclock all the way to 16,500 megahertz or 8,250 um, versus 7,000 megahertz which is internal frequency alright so this is how it's benchmarked as you can see I repasted the CPU I put the um, uh, thermal grizzly uh, it's going to be carbon out pad it's not liquid metal I used to use liquid metal but liquid metal will dry out after two three years guaranteed and your performance will go so low like unbelievable low like even lower than the regular thermal compound paste uh, liquid metal thermal compound paste by thermal grizzly drying out two dash three years keep that in mind but I highly recommend by that brand thermal uh, grizzly uh, carbonate uh, thermal pads it's kind of like a material like a cloth like very thin cloth it's a technology cloth uh, it's uh, pretty much doing a good job a little bit hotter than uh, liquid metal by two three degrees but uh, it's not a uh, paste it's not gonna create a mass and uh, it's not a liquid it's like a piece of cloth almost and you can reuse it anytime you want it it's unbelievable okay so it's, it's forever you purchase it and you can use it forever and that CPU it will never dry out or we use it on any other CPU or GPU highly recommend thermal grizzly uh, carbon out thermal compound pads not paste but pads okay so this house core 6000 just like I was telling, uh, telling you uh, 5.1 gigahertz per every single core including DAVX to instruction frequency 5.1 gigahertz and single threads scored like that when it comes to games we're looking at the single thread when it comes to 3d rendering and uh, while utilizing every single core every single thread 100% you're looking at the multi thread performance okay this is the more ADA GP GPU benchmark while GPU video RAM versus CPU and system RAM comparison and as you can see my bandwidth is 670 not 780 or 800 gigabytes per second so I cannot overclock my video RAM right now because it's going to freeze but I'm going to repaste the thermal compound um, pads on this Titan RTX as well on a VRAM so I can push up the VRAM it's a solid when you push up the VRAM to 800 gigabytes per second stable on Titan RTX at least on the other one uh, the performance when the GPU is overclocked to 100 megahertz and um, bandwidth on the video RAM to 800 gigabytes per second right here which is additional uh, 1100 actually 1250 megahertz which is equal 2500 megahertz because multiply by two external uh, frequency uh, it's running like uh, 16,500 megahertz from 14,000 which is 7 gigahertz internal 14,000 external to 16,500 megahertz and GPU zero clock to 100 megahertz the boost is 15% uh, performance increase 15 1 5 percent okay so this is what's up guys okay so constantly it's not going to lower itself below 5.1 gigahertz minimum by 10 megahertz uh, as an error okay
on the processor so this is how I'm gonna do it but before I'm going to jump into the game let me show you under the windows display settings my display settings set to 6720 pixels by 3680 pixels which is 7k video resolution by a red cinema standard that uh, company that did the red brain cameras that was uh, shooting in 2024 2025 and 8k UHD so 7k video resolution is not 7k UHD but uh, it's kind of not far away from 8k UHD as you can see it's a little bit farther than 7k UHD in terms of the pixels so this is the thing this is how we're gonna start uh, under the windows and by the way in the background this is exactly the system that I'm using so guys I tested 4k 5k 6k all kind of different 6k's like 3 4k UHD in vertical mode 6k UHD by Apple Pro display XDR this is going to be 7K, I tested 8K, 10K, uh, two different 10Ks, 12K, three different 12Ks, and 16K video resolution in Mechabellum game. As a world's record, nobody done it, even in 8K UHD video resolution, and I tested above. So pretty much I underline all the resolution. On the Titan RTX, you don't want to run below 4K video resolution because you're going to reach the FPS cap. The game is, has the FPS cap at 180 FPS. It's running Unity game engine, and developers cap it at 180 FPS, just in case I think so player cannot cheat or something like that. So you cannot go above that. So below 4K HD on a single Titan RTX, you're reaching way above 180 FPS and it's capping. So it's not utilizing the GPU at 100% or 99%, exactly as you want to utilize the GPU because you're going to utilize all the NVIDIA Turing CUDA cores available on our, on our Titan RTX video card by NVIDIA on our, on our, on our NVIDIA TU-102 GPU. All right, so it's running. Completely stock, 100% fan rotation through the MSI after burner. As you can see, nothing is overclocked. This is the settings. Please watch this video in 4K HD video resolution as again. So this is how I'm going to do it. I have the licensed version on Steam. I purchased for $6.79, something like that. It was the early beta, early access. I was so lucky. Right now, the game costs like 14 bucks, And on very big sale, you can pick it up for seven dollars 99 cents like like very big sale but go ahead and hunt for it throughout the year they just introduced the update it's not the first uh, version one final it's still under the beta they introduced the tarantula new mac which is amazing hopefully i'm gonna demonstrate it to you i'm gonna show you a benchmark as we always did very heavy benchmark and then i'm gonna show you the gameplay but the game is pretty well optimized it doesn't matter if you're playing one versus one or um two versus two or total of five which is four players and fifth the uh, ai it's still going to be maximum it's going to be 10 percent fps down when it's going to be a heavy settings but anyways let me go ahead and show you the options as you can see i put the stats at the right bottom corner i mean right top corner uh first of all first of all first of all guys let me let me real quick increase the um the stats real quick for you we want to make sure that you can see the stats in that corner like that as you can see it's detecting the screen by itself it's detecting 6720 pixels by 3680 pixels and uh, this is exactly exactly as we have uh, one second guys let me lower it so you can see the nicknames of the players let's go at 300 I'm gonna put it at the um, right uh, top corner so here we go shut down the audio track the game has absolutely fantastic audio track if you real-time strategy fan this is, should be the game for you this is one of the best real-time strategies ever it's not like with the basis it's kind of unique real-time strategy uh kind of unique strategy but this game is amazing the game goes so fast like 10 minutes five minutes a game and it's unbelievable it's like a modern chess i uh think that this game is like modern chess highly recommend this game so 6720 by 3680 let me show it to you 
this is the resolution that we're gonna select I tested all of those resolutions guys as you can see go ahead and check it out hugedking.com YouTube channel and guys don't forget to smash that like button because I tested all the resolutions and Titan RTX will be the first generation of the NVIDIA RTX GPU architecture flagship video card and every single next uh, flagship uh, for the RTX generations we're gonna know exactly how it performs because the R NVIDIA RTX um, 3090 video card which is the next generation of the NVIDIA and pure GPU architecture is two times faster than Titan RTX so 6720 by 3680 maximum visuals anti-aliasing look like it doesn't work I think or I'm not sure the FPS is not stressing above 4k UGD or even in 4k UGD so I'm gonna create the anti-aliasing none everything else will be at maximum settings vsync will be off to demonstrate maximum possible fps um because i'm running this today on the ak hd native at 60 hertz uh, tv so so this resolution 7k video resolution is native keep that in mind as well so highest settings texture anti-aliasing is off shadows soft shadows shadow resolution very high buildings all so showing all kind of details and this again audio is off the game has fantastic audio great track but we're not going to listen to that okay so um the game has let me real quick go ahead and show you the uh, for those who didn't play this game it has the solo where you can play on offline you can play this game offline the internet connection is not required you can play versus the AI do the community challenges or play versus the AI which is the practice make sure to beat the AI a couple times at insane which is uh, the AI will be a scripted AI, kind of static scripted AI, just like in games in 2010, 2000. But this AI is very, very hardcore, actually. It uh, knows exactly what you're doing, which is developers did a pretty good job. It's try to beat it an insane couple times and only then play multiplayer. And then multiplayer, where you're playing online with the people, you can play one versus one. Let me show it to you. You can play one versus one, two versus two, four-player brawl match, and uh, this is kind of the options that you can play right now. And uh, pretty much this game is pretty well optimized. As again, it's running Unity game engine. Um, DirectX 11 API, though, that means that there is a possibility supporting NVIDIA SLI technology. But let us. Uh, Unity Game Engine, even with DirectX 11 API, it doesn't support NVIDIA SLI. It just doesn't support NVIDIA SLI. So, um, all right, so what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you first the replay uh, while I'm going to play um, two versus two. It's going to be very heavy all the way till uh, 13 rounds. I never knew that you can go into this game to 13 rounds, which is going to be uh, So many units is going to be the heaviest possible scenario and then I'm going to show you one versus one and probably two versus two and We're going to underline it and I also going to attach the great uh, Related videos on this system in 4k 5k 6k 8k 10k 12k and 16k video resolution in the video comments go ahead and check it out and the future systems i'm going to benchmark like with nvidia rtx 3090 nvidia rtx 4090 i'm going to attach it guys uh, and all kind of different pc systems video cards processors i'm going to attach in the video comments so go ahead and check it out to get the complete uh idea and in this kind of exotic resolutions so um we're going to play the replay game has a replay so while you're playing versus the AI artificial intelligence which is computer or versus the real player in multiplayer you can um, save the replace and you can study what's up while you overclocked in the Titan RTX uh, 100 megahertz on a GPU and uh, 450 megahertz on a video RAM through the MSI after burner you receiving 15% additional boost 15 1.1 Five percent. This is unbelievable, guys. But as again, you gotta repaste it properly. Liquid metal is not good because it's gonna hold it like two, three years and dry out. So use the pads 
instead of paste use the pad so it's not liquid and it's great it's gonna last you forever it's a little bit more money just a couple bucks but you can reuse it and it will never dry out anyways we're gonna play it it's going to be um right here uh i believe it's going to be this game right here mitzi um and me and my team versus how do you do and anti markovka let's go ahead and start it it's going to be 13 levels this is going to be crazy As you can see, people choosing the vile cards. This is the specialist that they would like to have. Every single specialist has, has its own benefits. This game is amazing. Look like developers are playing this game pretty well. As you can see, my skins are gold tanks. I, I, I purchased completely skins because, guys, I have you. Really like that gold thing. And I'm going to play as a gold tiger. Uh, I created with my artificial intelligence that I'm going to share with you guys that has the ability to draw anything what you want. It's going to be one of my AI services. I'm going to share with you more information over the hdking.com under the community. You want to subscribe. It's going to be by the end of August. I created a beautiful avatar, uh, Gold Tiger. And uh, as you can see, I purchased the skins Gold, Gold, Gold on my tanks everything where I can now I have the uh, marksman in gold as well and everything in gold so I like to play in gold and uh, it's confusing the enemy pretty badly and enemy doesn't know uh, what level is your if it's beginner what level is your uh, max level 1 level 2 or level 3 it doesn't know because if it's by default it's starting with the blue then uh, starting with the red then blue and orange so uh, red is level one which is weakest blue is a little bit stronger and orange is the strongest and then or, uh, level three can go to level five level seven but it's still going to be orange this is the fall skins if you're just going to purchase the game without investing any additional money but i decided to invest into the cosmetics it's just the cosmetics it doesn't help you but it helps you because it can confuse especially the new players and i'm using in blue so i i confuse a lot of players they immediately upgrading their marksmen to level two because level two is blue but this is a custom skin kind of lookish like level two but then i replace with the gold skin so you can use the skins with all kind of strategic approaches as well which is nice i wish though developers will remove that star because if you're gonna uh, finish up your strategy and wait for your opponent you can see what level uh, his units uh, it's showing the stars i wish the developers will remove the star so player must to click on it and see what level this is level one as you can see one steel ball and check it out and he's playing he's playing a gold no he's orange already orange and red level one and level three check it out level one and level three see that maximum level three so this is the strongest but see that star I wish that it would remove the stars so player will have struggle to see what level it is and it's got to check on every single unit. This will be advantage while running custom skins. And I hope that developers are watching and they're going to remove that. Right, right, right now, see those stars? And you can see those stars, you can have a clue. The blue star will be level second, the orange star level third. So you can kind of have a clue what kind of units is it. If you're going to immediately finish... Uh, putting your units for the next round I wish they would remove that and to find out the player must to click so it's gonna take some time and some player not going to have enough time after round five because it's gonna be busy while putting his units to make some strategy on the fly and uh, not checking your units so you can confuse the enemy with your skins I hope the developers are watching and they're going to implement something like that. That's going to be a benefit of the skin. Not only great looking cosmetics, but also not like pay to win, but also to confuse the player and take a little bit of his time so he can find out um, what level. Like this one is level third, orange star. 
but then when the game starts it doesn't see so if the opponent will first put the units you're gonna see what kind of units yours even without clicking on them I wish uh, the developers fully remove it for you it's gonna show what level like star for you of your units or your uh, teammate but not for him completely not for him until he's gonna click on the unit and find out this is what I'm wishing then the skins will play another role to confuse the opponent anyways this will be all the way to 13 rounds so I'm gonna zoom out uh, completely as you can see two versus two this is one of the heaviest scenario heaviest will be the two uh, when free for all like four players online and the AI in the middle which is the fifth so total five players so it's going to be the most units the most uh, geometry 3d geometry including the polygons and vertices rendering including the shaders on the screen but the game is pretty well optimized guys and maximum stressful situation will bring down 10% of the FPS so it's not that big so it's going to be 13 rounds unfortunately we lost this one but this was the longest fight ever I didn't know that Mahabalm has 13 rounds I thought it's like 11 maximum 12 but it can be 13 rounds it was so close but we lost in the end so I show you that immediately let's go ahead and switch it so we don't have to waste the time you saw the FPS and it says 32 FPS average so it's 30 FPS average while as you can see um, let me reset the average that's 75 picked up from the menu so 32 33 FPS average and this experience is so uh, not far away it's just a hair away from the 8k UHD 30 FPS in 7k UHD it's completely comfortable gameplay in this particular game but as again this game is a strategy and you can also have the comfort at 25 fps and even 20 fps look how beautiful the units look -ish. all the details i'm gonna zoom it in for you in the end as well it's beautiful you can see the texture scratches and stuff like that and especially the custom gold skins are nice so this was the uh, the new unit like a worm from dune that they brought i really like this mechabellum game it's kind of lookish like starcraft 2 with a little bit of elements of red red alert like you can have that a uh, mind uh, capture guy that capturing the mines and the worm from dune so it's kind of they copy a little bit of westwood and as well as, as a different uh, brand uh, real-time strategy which is starcraft 2 kind of units looking like a starcraft 2 but elements a little bit some elements from red alert guys and um especially the flying units as well so this is going to be round three i'm going to switch immediately to round five and uh, then i'm going to switch to round seven level nine and then level 12 and 13 the maximum maximum so it's going to be like units everywhere as you can see when it's starting it's a crazy fps above 30 fps but the fps will drop a little bit after level fifth like for sure after level seven a little bit or when the level 7 will be because there's going to be a lot of units re-entered on the screen at the same time I had a great opponent team versus us but my teammate was absolutely amazing it, it's almost pull up the game in the end I start start losing it because the opponent was actually great. I thought the opponent is not great, but it was actually great. I'm gonna zoom in, in guys, in the end to show you how beautiful the game look is. But I'm, I'm putting the camera maximum zoom out. This is what you gotta do. Maximum zoom out in the game engine. Without Windows Magnifier Zoom Tool. But it's beautiful. If you're gonna zoom it in, look at those particles. It's just beautiful and level of details when it's blowing up. I really love it. It's they did a good job. Good job. And it's running Unity uh, game engine, so you can see what kind of game we can build while running uh, Unity game engine. And by the way, because it's running Unity ga Unity game engine, they can build a mobile version of it. And I don't see why not. It's already ready for the tablet. The way the the whole deal is. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna switch it. 
So it's round 5, let's go ahead and switch to round 6 and then I'm gonna put the round 8 or round 8 after 7 and uh, then round 11 which will be the heaviest and then I'm gonna show you a couple of gameplays guys and we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up the experience will be as as good almost as AKG just a hair difference in terms of the pixels and it's kinda hard to see it guys I would play it like that I'm, I'm sipping that hot Colombian coffee I purchased three uh, four actually big cans five pounds each premium Colombian coffee so I'm brewing myself it's nice uh, so guys yeah as you can see this game is just unbelievable and if you're real-time strategy fan this game is what it is it's not about the bases but you cannot do the base rush and every single level can make a difference and you can lose like uh, first seven rounds but then the last two you can dominate which is good about this game it's about the pure strategy pure thinking uh, knowing your units know uh, think uh, fast and uh, this game will train you to be in focus think fast on your feet this is the modern chess guys I really like this game anyways this is round six as you can see still 30 FPS let's go ahead and switch to round nine this is going to be crazy here we go round nine so it's going to be a lot and after that there's going to be a lot of uh, units and this is where it's going to get complicated let me show you how beautiful it is you can click on the unit and you can go and see from the unit eyes camera check it out you can record the cinematic movies like that look at those details you can remove the icons and you can uh, record the battles create a cinematic gameplays like a movies if you're going to cut it nicely but check it out guys it is beautiful the level of details let's go ahead and start it from the eye point as you can see it's way above 30 fps it's running so comfortable because real-time strategy 30 fps and above is just comfortable like command conquer 3 red alert 3 was running 30 fps was like a 30 fps so you can imagine and it was a great game without any lag so real-time strategy or all kind of different strategy is good at 30 fps 99 percent of them so i'm gonna deploy and we're gonna go ahead and get going here okay i'm gonna deploy you can switch between the units guys it's just beautiful it's going to be unbelievable you saw that so round 9, we are losing 760, see that? But we're gonna pull this up. They almost beat us, but now we're gonna pull round 9, 10, 11, 12, and then we're gonna lose in 13, which is amazing. Look how beautiful that base in gold, uh, let me show it to you, in gold skin, custom gold skin. The best price will be for this custom gold skin, uh, two dollars forty nine cents. This is the the most sa uh, saving that you can get instead of three dollars ninety nine, two dollars forty nine cents. So my teammate gonna go ahead and crash them. Check it out. Check check that FPS, guys. Still thirty FPS. And keep in mind, just because I'm recording on the same computer uh, with Nvidia Shadow Play. So it's recording in real time on the same computer. So it consumes a little bit of the performance and it's about like almost 10%, utilizing 10% of our performance. So without the recording, you can add at least two FPS to the FPS counter, but 10% will be three FPS. It's a little bit lower than 10%. It consumes a little bit lower than 10% while it's recording. So go ahead and add two FPS to be for sure. You can add so like 34 35 fps average this is unbelievable and this is 7k video resolution looks like 8k hd and just a hair pixels off 
this guy's how I would play it at any games instead of 8k UHD and 8k UHD native screen play it like this 7k UHD it's the experience will be almost the same but you're gonna breeze in terms of the FPS you're gonna create a little bit more FPS and if the game is struggle it's gonna run a little bit smoother I cannot wait to test this game with RTX 3090 video card which is the Nvidia Ampere flagship video card from 2021 and uh, from 2023 NVIDIA EDA GPU architecture which is the RTX 4090 video card which is the flagship video card gaming video card for NVIDIA EDA which was released in 2023 in the end of 2022 so look at this, it's like units almost everywhere. So while the AI is playing the game, you cannot control the units. Not like in the real-time strategies when you can control the units. After you place the unit, you cannot move it unless you're going to get a special wild card. So you can move one or two units maximum. Or if you like, even three units. You can move the position. But you got to activate the special wild card. You got to first, you got to get it. So it's like you place that like in chess and then you cannot move it and uh, it's so strategic. This game will, as again, make you think on foot very quickly, be focused, sharp. This is the modern chess, guys. Look at this, the GPU utilization 99%, exactly as we wanted. Guys, my GPU on Titan RTX that must be replaced uh, on thermal compound but as again I'm gonna repla replace it with thermal compound pad so I don't have to replace it so it will never dry out again and it's just almost the same performance as liquid metal by three degrees hotter but it's it's gonna be there like forever uh, anyways um, well, well guys that's uh, overheating it's overheating badly it's dropping the frequency to 1000 megahertz on Titan RTX so Titan RTX running like Titan X Maxwell, Titan X Pascal, <laughs> even lower than that, can you believe it? So it's dropping around 30% of the performance in FPS while it's doing that. So when your GPU is dropping performance, not it didn't do it like before, my advice immediately replace uh, thermal compound paste. And the best way will be thermal compound pads, so it's not a liquid paste by thermal grizzly or IC diamond IC diamond actually is good almost as thermal grizzly and it's cheaper keep that in mind so I'm using on my video RAM not on this tightener but on, on my secondary tightener I'm using the IC diamond thermal compound pads on the video RAM and liquid metal on the GPU but now I'm going to use only thermal compound pads those highly high performance thermal compound pads that's still going to be better than Arctic Silver 5 keep that in mind Arctic Silver 5 pads. Not the pads, but paste. I'm not sure if Arctic Silver has the pads, but if it does, it's, it's nice. So, as you can see, my guy gonna destroy them. Thanks God. And he gonna pull more rounds. So, this round 10. Look at this, it's still 30 FPS. So, this game is pretty well optimized, guys. So, I'm gonna test it one versus one. Hopefully, I'm going to win. But as again, this video is not about the gameplay. This video is about the benchmark to demonstrate the world's first 7K video resolution, which is Red Cinema standard resolution. Red Cinema video resolution, which is 7K, almost 8K UHD without like 600 pixels. So this is going to be, we're going to select the wild cards. I selected the lighting storm, my uh, teammate lighting storm. They're going to select something. We're going to update. I, I didn't do a good job here. But uh, teammate told me that I played good. But we played against heavy opponents though. So much, much more ex uh, experience than me. But I didn't pull it in the end, as you can see. Anyways, this is going to be the round 11, and then two more. Then we're going to switch one versus one online. But you already got an idea 
uh, when you're playing two versus two, it's a little bit heavier. But as again, the game is not so heavy. Maximum 10 FPS. 10% of the FPS will go down. 10% of the FPS not so bad at the maximum stressful scenarios. So as again, developers of Mechabellum game knows exactly what they're doing and uh, they optimize their game pretty well. And uh, every single component in this game makes sense. They they look like they're playing the game. This this part what I like. So I invested heavily, guys, in this game, and I'm gonna record more videos about this game in the future. I'm gonna demonstrate the strategies to you. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're a Mechabellum fan or if you're looking to buy this game. And yeah, share it with your friends that play Mehabellum and show show them the resolution 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K, 8K, 10K, 12K, and 16K video resolution. World's record. But everything above 8K is a world's record. But nobody else showed you on YouTube in 2024 before me even in 8K video resolution Mehabellum. So I was the first gamer. And of course, I play 16K, that's my nickname, UGD King. I demonstrated the 16K video resolution for you guys. And 16K video resolution is the top, top of the top when it comes to PC gaming. Before PC gaming will be that, and we will be using the glasses, AR and AI experience, which will be a little bit different. It's not going to be static when people, programmers are programming and coding. It's going to be developed already on the fly with a lot of algorithms and while using the AI and combining multiple worlds while using the AR 3D world with the real life world it's going to be unbelievable experience but this is the future this is like 2028 and right now you're watching 2024 today is August 4th 2024 so look like my teammate gonna go ahead and pull this one for me as well such a good guy if he's still watching Dude, let us know if, if, if you were playing with me. Mitsu, Mitsu. The game has like all kind of different servers. You can join any server. It has the North America server, South America server, Europe, Asia. It also has the tournaments, but you can join anything, which is nice. Look like we are actually we dominated this, but this one should be 13 rounds. We dominated this game. Maybe it wasn't this game, but I, I believe I showed you this game. Uh, I, I, it should be 13 rounds. Anyways, you saw the performance, guys, right? Right now, I'm going to go ahead and this again, guys. This is going to be a single take. I'm not cheating. I didn't do anything. 6,720 pixels by 3,680 pixels. Maximum frame rate is maximum 180. This is maximum what is unlocked. Make sure VSync is off. Okay, so multiplayer. Let's go ahead and play one player. But as again, guys, this is not about the game. And then I'm going to play the AI free for all for online players, real players, and then AI, which is the fifth player, total five players, the heaviest possible scenario. So wish me luck, guys. But as again, I, 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 I can lose this one. It, it, it's alright. I can win, I can lose, but let's go ahead now look. And guys, please don't forget to smash that like button. A lot of time, money, energy is invested. I'm going to play the giant specialist because it's for free giant units giant max for free i really like this specialist this wild card every specialist is again in this game make completely sense this is not going to be tutorial i'm gonna a little bit walk you through guys but keep in mind i'm gonna create my tips strategies over the official uhdking.com youtube channel that you're watching or i play 4k.com so this guy this tarantula, the new unit, by the way. I don't have any great strategy with this, but it's it's kind of cool unit. It can throw out the explosive. 
that's kind of running and hunting the enemy and blowing up the enemy which is nice I'm gonna demonstrate it for you so kind of putting mathematically correct this is my marksman they all gold check it out beautiful they're all looking gold so for all the ranks rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 and above it's gold so opponent will have a hard time but as again if if opponent right now watching if he's done with his formation he's watching he knows exactly what level my marksman and hopefully they're gonna fix that the developers of Mechabellum so opponent cannot know until it's gonna click on a um, unit and find out this is the only the cosmetics will make any sense to fool your opponent as well not only the beautiful lookish gold but to fool your opponent so maximum zoom out camera let's go ahead and have a look and deployment I'm done as you can see zero points right here supply so we cannot deploy any more units uh, you can unlock one more extra unit per round so unlock it all and this is the only units that we can deploy then next round I can do one more and there is a timer right now it's 120 minutes uh, seconds the whole round check it out 32 FPS average yeah above 30 that's nice it's a solid experience guys and it's looking beautiful in 7k video resolution it looks like 8k HD it's like kinda hard to tell it's beautiful everything is so sharp everything is so beautiful as again I'm zoom out the camera but I will try to zoom it in for you at some point to show you how beautiful the game is so he's gonna take the first round it doesn't matter who's gonna take the first three rounds but of course if you're gonna take it you're gonna a little bit harm your opponent as you can see he hard me from 4500 I'm 4200 when my points will be zero or negative I lost so this is how it is usually it takes like nine ten rounds but sometimes 13 even I'm gonna take this but I probably should take a different guy but that that's fine let me go ahead and take this and I'm gonna put those wrath which is the U4 it's a air unit so to be able to shut it down you gotta have the air unit and it's very nice and strategic unit it can do a lot of damage okay we've done this now you're gonna hustle us with his nonsense there so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy anti-artillery missile like those we're gonna shut it down his artillery missile like that let's go ahead and have a look so I'm zero points let's go ahead and have a look so there is a points every single round for you to waste and you gotta waste it strategically so do not waste it invest it strategically and uh, let's see see like I'm shutting down now those rockets not all of them you you want to build more of those interceptors but yeah it's kind of shutting down come on shoot it okay yeah, it's gonna destroy our towers anti missile towers that's fine this one this round we're gonna lose as well because guys I'm not thinking about strategy I'm paying attention at the right top corner at the numbers you want to pay attention as well as you can see a uh, 7k video resolution the video RAM is below 12 gigabytes below 12,000 megabytes so video card with the 12 gigabytes of video RAM in 7k video resolution will be just perfect it's going to be golden I'm gonna decrease this so I'm gonna decrease from the large units upgrades that wild card and this is the well, uh, big units but I'm gonna start with the worms let's go ahead and start with the worms a surprise for him uh, but not right now I'm gonna select that but I'm not gonna use it for now it's 350 because I took the wild card usually it's 400 so it's 50 cost cheaper okay now so he gonna go going to shoot us so we wanna put the anti-missile -miss towers so we can kind of 
get it, those missiles. And um, let's see, he's kind of he's kind of knows what he's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hustle him like this with the missiles. Let's go ahead and see. Like that, and uh, let me put probably one more extra unit here. So he's kind of heavy here. I'm gonna deploy one more unit. Those one are great against those crawlers. Those crawlers right here, those guys, they're crazy. All right, let's go ahead and now look. Missile gonna boop boop, it just reached the radius. Okay. You can upgrade the missile and it's gonna do the more damage. There is a wild card for that. Again, he's gonna take this round, this third one, and this is a bad guys, bad news for us. Usually after the third round you don't wanna lose. Third is the maximum of what you wanna lose because if you're gonna keep losing that means that you're gonna lose completely. The whole deal because after the third round the point's gonna suck down so quickly as you can see right there all right i'm gonna unleash the monster this guy right here and uh we're gonna do it like that check it out guys so he he will try to shoot it but he's gonna miss it and I'm gonna go deep like that and uh, hopefully it will do it let's go ahead and protect him with some missiles okay and uh, what I can do I can put those fields to protect me father, let me show it you like that. So, opponent must to destroy the shield first, the field, before it can g give me any damages. Except those crawlers, they can jump in inside. Or the worms. Worms, like from Dune, check it out. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, shoot in the worm. You're gonna start shooting into the worm. So hopefully we're going to take uh, advantage. Let me go ahead and have a look. Nope, he doesn't see the worm. But he's going to upgrade his guys. So let's put the worm here. He's going to upgrade his guys actually. And uh, we're going to see it. Let's see. Now I'm at the good spot. One missile. Oh, check it out. He's like kind of ready. Yeah, this dude is not playing around. So this dude is a good player. But as again, I, I wasn't ready. I like, didn't pay attention to the strategies. I'm paying attention to the numbers. So 12 gigabytes, guys. He just switched to 12,000 megabytes of the video. So 12 gigabytes. But still within the 12 gigabytes. So he's still within the 12 gigabytes, which is nice. See like his units now blue. It used to be red, marksman, and now it's blue. See that? So he upgraded his unit. He was freak out. Y usually uh, the players are freaking out when something like this happens. And they doing this. Okay, let me put this. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade missile interceptor. So we're going to intercept the missile. So hopefully we can intercept the missiles. Okay, so this guy, he's not playing around. So I got to come up with a plan. And with the plan, the best plan will be to shoot him down like this. But I got to upgrade this dude like that. Boom. So he's going to shoot it like that. Slow him, his units down. And then I can I can try to do the damage. Let's go ahead and have a look. Let me borrow some money. You can borrow from next round. Because I run out. And let me put these guys like that. And hopefully we can shut him down. Like that. 
and if you're gonna go aggressive like that and let's go ahead and upgrade this guy so it's gonna be stronger I don't have any anti missiles so it's bad bad idea I probably should put the anti missile interceptors but I didn't put it but as again we didn't care about that check it out ah I didn't destroy that probably should put the protection but I didn't do that unfortunately yeah he's not joking around so he knows what he's doing Yeah, we're gonna lose this guy's game, but as again, this is not about the gameplay, it's fine. I'm, I'm just not too focused right now on the game anyways. Ugh, minus 163, we lost it. See, like my lion, I, I use my artificial intelligence, uh, my, my own... AI service that I'm going to guys share with you by the end of August 2024 so you can do all of those beautiful avatars beautiful whatever you can dream you can draw this is on below and you don't need to be a graphics designer 3d animator it's like all of those fields while using my AI and you just uh, tell AI what you want and it's gonna do it it's just unbelievable guys the best thing you don't want to mess it if you my long time subscriber this is going to be a great service by me you want to try this out all right so we lost that one which is fine uh, next thing what I'm gonna do I'm going to go ahead and do the four player brawl and this one this one it will be like total will be five players so it will, will be four player human beings and fifth will be the AI and the AI will be used so many um, units uh, like it didn't use it before because it's gonna cover all the four players so technically it's going to be like eight players so this is going to be the heaviest um, scenario possible in Mehabellum and usually it goes to 10 rounds so let's go ahead and have a look we just started it, it's, it's a little bit different uh, idea of strategy throughout this type of game mode but this is not my favorite game mode but some folks will love it as well I kinda love death matches as you saw but this is going to be like free for all and whoever's going to survive and uh, this one is going to be actually nice let's go now look wait a second is it free for all Ah, we have only area specialist. This is a bad idea, guys. I don't have a proper wall card. So I can only build for free the uh, air units, but I cannot build the gigantic units for free, and they're gonna cost a lot, a fortune. Look at this 32, 35 FPS average. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, again, this is one versus one. Okay. I'm not sure why. I select the brawl supposed to be bro but okay let's go ahead and play this anyways because I don't want to quit it because then I'm gonna lose two games and as you can see I have the rank I won't lose the ranks but for my benchmarks I'm you know sacrificing so don't forget to smash that like button okay so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put those units like that and uh, hopefully I'm gonna show you where is the tarantula this new kind of spider mech okay marksmans they're all gold let's see Usually if you're going round from round even one, two, three first rounds and you're dominating, most likely you're going to win. But as again at round fifth, the opponent can go and do some crazy strategy and take the, the whole battle from you and ruin your strategy completely. It's about to read the enemy strategy, understand where it's going, what it's trying to achieve, and uh Think quick. See, like all his units is red, means level one. But mine is kind of gold and all camo, custom skin. So some of them are red as well, like those tarantula, because there is no skins for the tarantula yet. 
but it's already hard to tell for any player what kind of units mine without clicking on them. In the battle though, but if you're ready to uh, and deploy your unit and I am still deploying my units, you can see exactly what those skins, what kind of level max they are. And uh, as again, I wish the developers will remove that option. And until you're gonna click on every single unit, you can find out. And it's gonna take some time, so it's going to be a strategic advantage of the person who invested into the skin, into that cosmetic part. This is how I would do it as a developer, though. So he took the first round, but that's okay. He barely took it. So we're gonna we're gonna take it away from him now for sure. Let me show you guys how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do the like that the traps with the missiles and we're gonna kill all his tanks this round will be ours then I'm gonna establish one missile here and one missile here to protect our towers if they're gonna destroy the towers uh, your um, unit is gonna go for three seconds kinda numb and uh, or moving slow or uh, not shooting at its full power depends on the unit so you want to avoid for the enemy to shoot the tower because it's gonna bring your units about three four seconds like to the half potential okay he brought that big unit so he's gonna ruin our plan to dominate this one come on come on shoot it shoot it yep see like i shoot his tower as again it's not like a base but tower and his units right now they kind of like uh, in shock see that so they moving slow and uh, not hitting properly the enemy not creating the proper damage check it out how beautiful the game looks like guys let me show it to you check it out this marksman look at that level of details this maximum zoom right now on 7k video resolution look how everything is so detailed this is just in blue and this is within the game engine I'm not using the Microsoft Windows zoom tool which you can zoom in farther Okay, we got, we, we got it, we got it. So, he doesn't have the artillery, so I'm gonna put the U4, Wrath. And uh, that, that unit can be dangerous. Can create a lot of uh, shock there. And let me put it together with his unit, so we will try to kinda stress him out a little bit like that. He's gonna deploy some more units, you're gonna see it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna also deploy more units. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fight. Let me put the shields to protect us a little bit and the missiles. I borrowed the money from the next round. You can do it by the tower. Clicking on tower and click it here. Right here it says so. The game is self-explanatory, guys. There is no overwhelming. Don't think it's going to be like overwhelming and stuff like that. It's not like that. Okay, so hopefully I'm gonna destroy the tanks and that's going to be easier. Let's go ahead and look. So you can borrow only 200 uh, gold credits from the next round. But it also can be strategic. This game has so many strategies, guys. It's like unbelievable. You can build strategic. See, like he almost doesn't have anything against my U4 if I'm gonna kill his marksman because anybody else cannot shoot my wrath, my U4 unit. But marksman can, as you can see, because they're shooting air and ground. But units must be able to shoot air and ground to be able to shoot the U4. No, we got it. Houston, we got it. Yep. So we got this round, round third, and after this round we don't want to lose round four. And he's kind of getting nasty and nasty and nasty as you can see. All right, he's trying to dominate us with his tanks. So what I can do? See those orange tanks? That's level third. So what I can do, um, 200 points, I can borrow 
and I'm not running the uh, giant unit I'm running the air special so I don't have that one so I can go get, go only for free with air let's go ahead and go for free with air with this but as again this is not so great so um I'm going to deploy here to destroy that one hopefully deploy here to destroy the orange one a couple of times put two of them and then destroy the tanks a little bit here and destroy the tanks a little bit over here still have a little bit let's go ahead and put some more folks that are gonna shoot at him like those okay and uh, I cannot borrow anything so I'm gonna upgrade this unit level 1 to level 2 boom promote 50 uh, gold coins and I'm done zero coins so in one second it's gonna start automatically because it's gonna give you some time limit to deploy otherwise it's gonna force you to deploy yeah kinda 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 we slow him down but not all of the units not all of the rockets did a good job because the field he used the field as you already learned I explained to you what the field does only crawlers, rhinos and uh, worms can go under the field anybody else gotta shut down the field first he's gonna take it guys from us he, he, he has two very heavy units and uh, I'm not sure what I can do with those units let, let me go ahead and have a look I will try to deploy those guys the air hopefully it will do a good job for us but let's see and let's go ahead and put it somewhere here okay and uh, I need to have more marksmen to stop him because he's so aggressive as you can see okay one more let me borrow from the next round and uh, as you can see I cannot deploy anymore but I can use this icon match recruitment and I can do one more or I can uh, get the wild card that can deploy one extra unit look at him she's gonna go heavy so I'm over here I'm gonna put the field so hopefully we can survive like that and uh, let's go down against his tanks I'm gonna do the missile against his tanks all right now now I'm going to enable HP right here on this guy as again I could lose this one because I, I don't like overloads I used to love it but my strategy is with the different units and I didn't have a lucky with the wild card so wild card of the specialist I don't like the air specialist I like the giant specialist but anyways yeah he has a lot of giant units so he's gonna pull this up guys on us I don't think I, 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 I can pull this up we even did brought the shield down check it out yeah he gonna he gonna get us guys throughout this round and look like he gonna get us throughout any rounds I let him know that I'm recording but we're gonna lose this one okay so let me put this guy right like that yeah he's kinda he's kinda aggressive and uh, let's see I'm gonna put a shield here and I'm gonna put one more shield here let me put the missile here completely try to destroy his and the orange one we better destroy the orange one as we as, as I could I mean if I could 
let's go ahead and uh, destroy this guy right here the things they're gonna approach let's put one more marksman but as again this is like that let's keep it like that at the distance okay and let me put this guy let me give him this one upgrade so he's gonna be much more aggressive you can put upgrade on the Mac which is nice I really like the way they done it okay so we kind of we kind of did it with the missiles but as again we have no luck guys this is our last round because as you can see my points at the left 372 left top corner so check it out guys still below 12,000 megabytes video RAM so below 12 gigabytes but we saw it's gonna clock down 12,000 megabytes which is 12 gigabytes but 12 gigabytes still will be okay as again we lost it but I didn't pay too much attention on that trust me I'm, I'm a good player in this game and I'm gonna show you how to play this game but as again right now I'm paying more attention to the benchmark so that's why my account sometimes has a lose because I'm, I'm trying something in terms for my uh, watchers on YouTube alright so now we're gonna go ahead and start the the uh, instead of one versus one match four player brawl let's go ahead and start that and this one will guys will test the um, four players free for all everybody will be by by on, on its own and uh, four AI is dedicated for every single player so total will be eight players so this is going to be the heaviest possible scenario and after this we're gonna wrap it up and as again I lost two rounds I know it never happens to me actually when I lost two rounds in, in a row trust me I'm so so good at this game but it is what it is at least I showed you the FPS and we saw the FPS is sticking at the 30 FPS and it's just there 30 FPS average like 29 33 30 32 so it's kind of kind of 33 32 fps average without the recording for sure let me i'm gonna refresh the average fps right now and keep in mind that titan rtx is not overclock if it's going to be overclock it's additional 10 percent boost so it's gonna it, it, at least give us the boost 10 percent exactly as nvidia shadow play takes to record this and it's gonna comp uh, compensate that and as again i don't have my favorite units Ay -ay 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 -ay. I have air specialist but I don't have my my let's go ahead and take the air specialist I guess so air specialist will be only air units will be free I don't have the gigantic unit really like the specialist the elite specialist eats so much uh, money and this this is check it out this is me let me first put my guy and then I'm gonna show it to you guys so this is me right Let's actually put this guy like that. And uh, at the left and, and the right and at the top will be the enemy, which will be also the player. And AI is in the center. But AI is going to be so strong. AI is going to attack the strongest opponent who's going to survive. So first, what I find out about this game mode which is i'm not a big fan but a lot of people will love it it's it's kind of nice addictive mode i really like it but not so so big fan you want to put as many units as you want so this is the ai right here you want to destroy those to get an extra points every time you're destroying the ai you're getting extra points so this is all ai in the middle all of this uh this is the enemy real player on the right red blue real player and green real player and i'm going to be the uh, yellow the orange and AI will be purple all right so we're done I'm gonna tell them I'm recording on YouTube at UG King in 7k video resolution benchmark you will be doing the video so they're gonna know
see like I'm, I'm killing the units and I'm receiving the points so this is how you're gonna use those points and uh, whoever gonna receive more points per round will be the winner of the round and then whoever will receive the most points throughout the whole rounds will be the, the winner of the game so they cannot destroy my base AI destroy my base and destroy me completely AI is so strong so it went after me So it's attacking me at the beginning, which is pretty bad. Most of the AI went after me. This is kind of great level. Design real like that refraction and reflection on the glass. Great level design. Yeah, look like AI is, check it out. Yep, AI is the winner, the purple guys. But the red one kind of was staying there for a very long time. Alright, so we got this. I'm gonna get as many as I can. This is three of them versus two is better. Better get three than two. The more units you will get, the better it will be because we're gonna fight all the three players and the AI. Oh Jesus again. This dude is coming coming with those kind of from Red Alert. Check it out. This is the mind controllers. It's like from Red Alert unit. Check it out those visuals guys level of details this is unbelievable this maximum zoom uh, with the uh, game engine but not the, with the Windows magnifier zoom tool I'm not using it only the game engine keep that in mind so this is how we benching maximum zoom out so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna borrow because he gonna capture our things with his mind controller and uh, I'm gonna kinda put it like that Hopefully we can survive that. And put it like that. Hopefully we're gonna survive that and uh, kill it. And uh, I have some doubts though. So let's go ahead and have a look. I'm gonna tell them, hey, I have all kind of icons because I invested money, guys. Because I'm on YouTube and you, and I'm gonna record more videos in this game. This game is so much fun, guys. It's unbelievable. It's already time to bed. It's like very, it's like 11 p.m. Preparing to go to bed, but just to show you to check it out, guys. We destroyed that one, and hopefully, and that one destroyed. Yeah, look like I didn't lose anybody. That's nice. I didn't lose a, a single unit. Flowers victory versus the AI. Let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna destroy those towers. I'm gonna get more points. Check it out. Okay, plus 60. I destroyed that one, plus 60. Now this is the player coming. That player right here. On that side. And look like I'm gonna knock it down. I did. Now he's coming with his kind of mind controllers. But we're gonna kill it with marksmen's. Look, look. I'm going I'm, I'm going to dominate the round too, guys. As again, this is not my favorite. My favorite is 1 versus 1. Or sometimes I like to play 2 versus two but my favorite one is death match one versus one and guys I never lost a single game maybe from the beginning when I started the game twice it's, it's just unbelievable I'm embarrassment embarrassed but as again so much embarrassment and I'm embarrassed but as again this is not about the gameplay this is about the benchmark the world's first 7k video resolution in Mecha Bellum game benchmark guys I won it um, my, my you see like those gold marksmen with dominated yeah now he yeah, gonna go after me it started after me and now it's gonna go after me again so over here I gotta be so smart and um, let me put the module so it's good I'm, I can use the module every single round versus just one upgrade per round and then it's gonna cool down so look at this and they have like a huge uh, they're gonna have like a huge you're gonna see like they're gonna have like a huge monsters they're gonna start with the regular one but then it's gonna say the bigger size of the Giants oops I just wasted my money and I didn't get it I, I better pay attention I was paying attention to the FPS but 12 gigabytes already guys 12,000 megabytes so this is a little bit above 12 gigabytes by about 2 megabytes so this one could crash on 12 gigabyte of video card and it probably say look you gotta you gotta have you gotta have 
let me actually put this guy right here. See, like my little unit, but he's a gigantic. So they're gonna have a gigantic unit. Can I borrow? I cannot borrow. Let me use this upgrade, this module on this dude. And this dude will be melting point. And my melting point is supposed to be gold. And it's not gold. Why it's not gold? It's supposed to be in gold accent. I'm gonna check it out why it's not. It's supposed to be in gold accent. Anyways, guys, right now I am number. I'm first, actually. Check it out. I'm first. The most points. Right here. Beautiful avatar. Gold tiger. Actually, just because I dominated the level second, second round, I'm first right now. Yeah, you're gonna kill me. The AI gonna kill me, guys. There's no chances for me to survive this one. Yeah, so... And he went with his... That deadly unit against me because... I dominated the round too. So you, you, you wanna stay away from dominating round. Like at least four rounds do not dominating, so... They're not gonna send against you those crazy units. This is, by the way, the new unit that was introduced first in this mode. Most likely, they're gonna bring this unit to the one versus one or in two versus two. Much larger, as you can see. Unit and much dangerous. With all kind of upgrades, check it out. And it's fully upgraded too by the AI, but level one. So AI dominated. Okay, nobody won. I'm still number one, guys. Check it out. 1453, I'm number one. But I only gained 80 points, gold points. But I'm still number one because I dominated the round two. Round three was the AI. Round four, right now, I'm gonna start round four. Look like we have some connection problems, but that's okay. It's gonna get fixed. Sometimes when you're playing with a lot of players, sometimes it happens. But if it cannot fix it, usually it's fixing it without any issue. It's gonna kick the player. But usually it's fixing without any issue. Some people with the slower computers are going to have some, some problems. Okay. So now, range specialist everybody will be increased range and I need to have that I better have the range increase range increase can play a big role guys that's what I learned so first oh look at this he's with the hackers again with those mind controllers let me try to use the missiles maybe we can kill the hackers kill those guys and maybe the hackers too if I'm lucky then I'm gonna dominate the AI if I cannot kill it then it's going to be bad news for me. So, okay, he got three hackers. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and put something like that. Let's try to survive. Put the protection, anti-hacker protection. But as again, might not work. Aye, aye. Let's, let's put it like, like this. And um, I'm going to put it like that. When it's going to approach us. Let's go ahead and have a look. And uh, can I borrow? I already bored. And also unlock it, guys. Unlocks depends to your specialists are free, but there is nothing for me to unlock except the ear. Let me unlock the ear. Unlock because you can only unlock one per round. So in 14 seconds it's gonna start. Let me go ahead and start it. I'm number one yet, guys. I'm number one. Check it out. See that? Let's see. If I'm gonna pull this round, I'm going to be for sure number one. Oh, the hackers. Look at this. The hackers. Those hackers are dangerous. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Kill the hacker. They, they capture some, some rhino. Some player rhino. This one right here. This is a player rhino. With the hacker. He captured that. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yes, we kill it. So, I pulled it without almost a unit loss. Let's go ahead and destroy the towers. Get some points so the green is dead the green player my eyes completely dead which is nice the uh, red player is coming after me 
So it's gonna be dangerous. He can succeed though. He's coming with his... Ah! And I kill his... Uh, uh, brain controller. Thought controller. Come on, destroy the overload. Destroy it, destroy it. Check it out. Thanks God that I have that... that Mac right here, which is beautiful. Melting point, check it out. But my melting point is supposed to be gold, though. I'm not sure why it's orange. Anyways, look like we're gonna dominate this, guys. AI left. I'm gonna kill the red base, and he's gonna be paralyzed. Most likely, he's gonna lose. I believe this is was his hacker right there. That hacker is the mind controller, and he's playing right there as well. Hopefully, we're gonna kill it. Those two planes going to be for that dude. So if I'm gonna kill those planes, I'm dominated this round. And I'm dominated this round, guys. I'm number one. I have like almost 3,000 points. Check it out. See that? I'm on top with the gold tiger. Okay, worms are nice. Let's go ahead and use the worms. They're nice. Especially when they're upgraded, so hopefully I'm gonna upgrade them to level 2 as minimum, but level 3 is dangerous. Let's send it like this. And after them, so hopefully they're gonna go after them. And uh, you wanna establish first, do not upgrade the units first, establish as many units as you can. That's what I learned. As a, but as again, I'm not a pro at this mode yet, I'm still learning. So those two units, we establish that, and uh, maybe give them a distance. So they're gonna shoot at the higher distance. Now, let me go ahead and put the missiles. Let's put the missile here. It's gonna destroy that and destroy those crawlers, which is danger, and there. He gonna he gonna do that thing on me. I I okay. So what I can do? There's nothing what I can do. I just gonna put the more of those guys and uh, I'm just gonna go after him. But there's nothing what I can do, guys. Maybe put like that, more like that. Rockets. Yeah, because his artillery is going to give us a bad time, but there is nothing I can do. I don't want to deploy the anti-missile units because he's going to destroy it. And it's not going to be available. I got to deploy it more. I better deploy the units because he cannot destroy the units. Next round, the units will be there. And I, I'm doing pretty well, actually. I'm not so bad. But his his... Artillery is killing us, as you can see. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Warm, warm, warm. Do it. Yeah. Look like the whole AI, as you can see, after us. Because everybody else, the AI is kind of easy on them. And look at them. The, the green uh, player has two big bases. Oh, my God. He's already, like, upgraded like crazy. I'm going to lose this one. We dominated the AI, but we're gonna lose that one with those big bases. Did you see that? At least I'm gonna kill that base. Yep, 100 points. So the uh, next round going to be killing the base will give you more points. Killing the uh, enemy mech gonna give you more points. Come on, kill it. Yep, we did it. No, we didn't. He captured our worm, guys. Did you see that? Mind controller. That's a bad news. So we're gonna lose this one. Kill the mind controller, nope. So they're gonna between each other and that dude gonna dominate with the mind controller. The mind controller is a big deal here. Bombardment. Let me go ahead and take the bombardment. And let me see what I can do with that. So this dude with the mind controller right here, he's crazy. So maybe we're supposed to harm him a little bit. Those with the, those big worms, they're gonna give us a lot of damage. And check it out, the complete level second worm upgraded. This dude can destroy me. I, I think this dude will destroy me. But let me see what we can do. Let me see. 
and I did deploy the worm. I did a mistake versus this guy. I should deploy this guy. But let de deploy this guy like this, put it on the side. And deploy one more by using mass recruitment button. I can deploy one more, but I gotta pay 50 for it. Credits. And now I'm gonna borrow. Check it out, guys. I'm gonna borrow. Right? And uh, I'm gonna say, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, give me this upgrade so units can heal it itself. That's it. Let's see. And I have this storm, but should I use storm on them? Mm, or on, on my opponent? Let me use on my opponent. So this blue guy is coming after me. Check it out. See that? Blue guy, Wojtek the bear coming after me. So I'm going to destroy him with the, probably the Polish guy, with the storm. So he's going to lower his rank. But AI look like going to kill me, guys. Those big worms, did you see that fully upgraded worms? They're going to have no problem to go after me. Check it out. Two shots and it killed my worm. Yeah, just... Yeah, this dude's going to kill me, guys. The AI going to kill me. But I did the storm on this dude, and I damaged him a little bit. I killed his hacker, at least one. So let's see what we, he can do. But they are gonna go, and they are gonna go over those big worms. They fully upgraded level two. Nothing will stop it. Can regenerate in health as well. Let me see the worm. Yep has the regeneration experimental unit this one right here oh yeah look at this blue is just base destroyed so blue is lost to a purple so blue lost to the computer so blue was coming after us and blue is number one right now I'm number two but he lost because I did a good job that I stressed him out pretty badly let's go ahead and put those Saber tooth and look at this now they light on us they're not even going after us they're gonna go after the blue after the red and after the green <laughs> green is easy i'm gonna put these guys right here because those guys they can shoot the uh artillery rounds when they upgrade it first i'm gonna upgrade it with the distance range enhancement and then i'm gonna give an ability to shoot the artillery later on upgraded but right now it's not necessary there is no artillery so we done that and um, let me put uh, bunch of those like that so um, they can do a lot of damage like that okay one team gonna go to the left one team gonna go to the right so I kind of want to balance it and put as much as I can so let me put more of those just in case if they're gonna go with the crawlers and we're not afraid of the crawlers right here this dude right here and now I'm going to deploy right here uh, no, I don't want to deploy. I'm gonna upgrade one of my units. Let's go ahead and upgrade this dude right here. Promote. Boom. That's it. Let's see, guys. I'm second right now. Oh, look at this. After the blue, those gigantic units, they're gonna destroy him, man. If he's a brain controller, those hacker units, I'm not gonna capture that unit. It, it's game over for him. Look how dangerous they are those units are crazy check it out guys they're gonna bring those units we're gonna see those units guys in a one versus one and two versus two later on check it out i'm fighting the uh, the red one and i'm putting the big fight and now i'm coming uh coming to the blue one but that purple one gonna do a better there it's probably gonna destroy us oh my god He's capturing us. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. No, he captured us. But he's a uh, brain hacker. 
bring hacker in this mod is very big deal check it out but my uh, right side team is coming and it's coming on that green one this is the green one with that big base I'm gonna destroy that base guys check it out the orange which is very nasty but we just destroy that so the blue left versus the uh, a little bit of purple and uh, the red one blue versus the red one yeah he's gonna dominate me because that big base cannot shoot the air units look at that we are already using almost 14,000 megabytes of the video RAM so 14 gigabytes I would say 16 gigabytes is the must in AK HD or 7k HD in Mecha Bellum guys 16 gigabytes if you're trying to play AK HD or 7k HD because right now as you can see we, I just saw above 13 gigabytes 13,000 megabytes it means that 12 gigabytes not gonna cut at all so I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna upgrade we're gonna upgrade the unit right here this one I'm gonna give this unit an extra capability right here an extra upgrade ATK unit equipped with increased by 70% so 70% more damage attack points okay so um, we can kind of create them powerful but let me create the air units because they're using hackers a lot those mind controllers air units and uh, an air unit I want to unlock uh, this is round 8 so two more rounds I'm gonna unlock the distance so he's gonna shoot much higher radius I'm gonna put one on this side one on this side because it's gonna split as we already learned okay and uh, you wanna put as many as you can so we're gonna put one more by using mass recruitment button 50 gold credits coins and uh, oops I use it but I didn't activate it so I wasted 50 gold credits but that's okay we're gonna use the rest later on um, but I, I probably should deploy that ship so the ship right now is shooting longer distance higher radius but then we're gonna deploy a little ships on top of those ships just like in Starcraft 2 that's why I'm saying guys that this Mechabellum game is kinda lookish like a Starcraft 2 check it out we captured that that's good I send my worms after him. He's gonna use his hackers. So hopefully we're gonna Ah Oh check it out guys. My my guy's giving damages, my air units. Look like his worms not upgraded to go after the air because worm can go after air but he must to have a upgrade though. His hacker is capturing our units guys. Oh we destroyed that dude. We destroyed the red one guys check it out see that now I'm coming at the blue one and this is with the base I think it's a green one coming from the top come on come on come on do it he cannot shoot us guys if we're gonna destroy his air he cannot shoot us see like he cannot shoot my overload my air unit because this is the ground unit only and I'm gonna kill it nice but those those planes are gonna kill me how about over here we still holding here his big base coming but that base is only ground so this base will do nothing so the the blue guy gonna dominate again the blue guy is leading I'm number two as you can see right there 15,360 times 8640.com second but the green is kind of coming after us so I gotta be very careful here so I want to establish as more units as I can and uh, the best will be the best will be the the flying units flying units will be a trouble and four of them team of three let's go and establish them and I'm with the flying units too so my flying units should be stronger let's let's deploy them because they're gonna be a trouble and the f same flying units will be coming from the overloads from my big ships like that and in the middle 
wherever it's gonna go. I'm not sure where it's gonna go. Okay, this one is ready. So let's go ahead and put a lot of overloads because he doesn't have a lot of anti air. So one is here, and one is over there. So two and two, as you saw, we put a big fight with overloads. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put mothership those wasps, deploy them, and we deploy them. And next, I'm gonna use the upgrade so they they can survive, they can heal themselves. Should they do it now, or should they deploy one more? Let me deploy one more. I'm gonna do it next round. This is. Uh, not the last round. The last round will be next one. Let me put this one and put it in the middle like this. Like that. Ops. Put it in the wrong direction, but that's okay for now. See like those little units coming from my thing? By the way guys, let me show you how the game looks like. Let me zoom it in for you in 7K video resolution maximum. We will check it out. This is how beautiful it is guys. For those who are curious what will be the performance when a lot of action, a lot of particles going on and uh, details, 16 FPS right now, but average 30 FPS without the zooming in. It's beautiful guys, the game looks just unbelievable, check it out. You can record the movies, look how that gold overload texture looks under the six, 7K video resolution, almost 8K video resolution, it's beautiful. Okay, let me zoom out. And uh, as you can see, 21, 22 FPS. So we're losing actually almost 10 FPS we lost. But this is the heaviest possible scenario because, as again, it's eight players, four players, uh, real players, and four players AI on those players, as you saw. And look at this 20 FPS, but still, because this is the real time strategy, it's playable. And it's also comfortable playable because you're even not controlling the unit. So. I mean, if you're recording perfect cinematics, of course you want to have at least 30 FPS. But this is so playable, you're going to play it like this without any issues. So we just killed one opponent, we're coming after another one. And ah, yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, do it. So this one is nice, but that one is coming after us. The blue is aggressive. He's coming, he's going to kill that base. And base coming after me, unfortunately, not after him. But he's going to start killing the base. Come on, come on, survive. Nope, not gonna survive. Who's gonna kill this base? Me or him? Him. Oh, look at this. This base is almost indestructible. Yeah, the blue destroy. I'm second though, which is nice. Because again, this is not my favorite mode. My favorite mode, one versus one, but we lost. Two games. This was unbelievable. So I'm second guys, as you can see, number two. We made 394 points throughout this round. One more round to go. Actually I did as a third player throughout this round. The blue didn't do pretty well. You want to be very strategic in this mode and this, this is not my favorite mode so I'm not so strategic. So what we're gonna do uh, destroy the blue one with this 200 upgrades that too much no for 200 upgrades I can use for something else let me go ahead and uh, put the ships so now I'm gonna make sure the ships can repair itself nice and I'm gonna put more ships we're gonna put more ships one two three like that and uh, now can I upgrade somebody if I can upgrade somebody I better do it now and let me upgrade the worms because the worms are upgraded they're ni nasty but but let me first make sure they can repair itself too so this worm is upgraded this one is upgraded and this one come on is upgraded and I can bore because there is no another level another round this is the last round okay we got level second worms they're gonna be dangerous at this level second let me upgrade for 50 those regular marksmen 
on each side and in the middle. Oops, I ran out. That's it, guys. We have 49 credits. We cannot do anything. I just let them know that I'm recording the 7K video resolution. Okay, wow, look at this, 14 FPS. Now you can see how the animation is now so straight. So now the animation is not so straight. So 14 FPS right now, you can see it's still playable, but you can see the animation is not so straight, 14 FPS. So it's actually almost 14,000 megabytes, 14 gigabytes is required for, you know, play it without any crashes. So 16 gigabytes video card, 16 gigabytes, but 14 gigabytes in 7K video resolution, and I think 8K will be almost 16 gigabytes. So 16 gigabytes, and you will be good at 8K UHD and below in this game. Come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. One more guy to go. We kill it over here. We still okay. We kill him over there, but over here we almost there. But check it out. He's coming with all his planes those planes and uh he gonna kill us guys this guy blue gonna take care of us unfortunately and over here too this is the green one coming with the planes so blue and green so I'm, I'm, I'm most likely I'm gonna be third check it out on the stats right there but anyways FPS right now is 30 because as you can see a lot of uh, 3d models removed from the map from the game from the garbage collector i am actually second second is good okay that's not not bad as again i'm, I'm playing maybe once a day this mode maybe not even once a day so this was a good result check it out i'll pull up some great points so it's a it's a great mode uh, for some folks and uh but I'm one versus one. I'm always one versus one. Let's go ahead and try actually one versus one for the last time. And uh, before we're going to do that, let me check under my collection. Look how beautiful my avatar that I created with my AI. And I created all kind of different avatars, guys, that I'm going to use that go for my gold skin. And you better use my AI. As again, go ahead and check out the UHDKing.com YouTube channel. To get more information about it it's going to be the best thing ever it can draw whatever you can think and you don't need to be a graphics designer or a 3d animator it can do like those images without any issues anyway skins i just purchased the uh skin which was uh the gold skin of course I'm, we're going to use the gold because i'm playing as a gold tiger and um, it's going to be this guy right here it's supposed to be on the gold one versus the orange remember it was the orange okay apply to all levels using I gotta play it like that to all levels here we go now we apply to all levels okay let's go ahead and try one versus one this is going to be the last game and I will let you go guys after this game don't forget to smash that like button a lot of time money energy is invested and I'm looking for your support guys this video is almost two hours So don't forget to support me. All right, let's go ahead and have a look what 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 what's going on there. It's looking for the player. As you can see right now, 978 players right here. Usually it's like over 1,000. And remember, I told you about the servers. If you're gonna click here, it's gonna tell you what kind of server you are. I'm playing in 501, so go ahead and join me and play against me. There is 401 is again. This is going to be a Russian, 101, Asian. So all kind of different uh, parts of the earth, but you can play anywhere, which is a great uh, thing. And some Asian guys can come to your to 501 to American and play against you. So guys, I tested and uh, we saw that 16 
gigabyte of video RAM or 16,000 megabytes of video RAM will be more than enough for this game in 7K and I believe in 8K UHD. Go ahead and check out my 8K UHD video benchmark. I'm going to attach the in video uh, description or in video comment. I'm going to as again attach all the related videos and video comments, all the benchmarks. And as again, it doesn't give us my favorite. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Should we go the elite specialist? Everything will be ex ex expensive. Let me go Rhina. It's gonna give us the specialist with the Rhina. It's gonna give us a Rhina after third round. Rhina is a mech. It can do only melee. I'm gonna show it to you for those who didn't play this game before. Okay, I'm gonna do mathematically correct and then look at this our FPS. We drop in terms of the FPS a little bit, and video RAM utilization is almost 13,000 megabytes. So 12 gigabytes is not gonna be enough. At maximum visuals in 7K video resolution at this 7K video resolution because sometimes as you can see it's almost 13,000 megabytes of course Nvidia can offload some data it can do it um, into the system RAM but it's gonna slow down the rendering and you're gonna lose some FPS that type of portion that doing that see like 12,925 megabytes right now the GPU utilization is almost 98% and it's going to be 98% throughout the gameplay, which is nice. So there is a barely CPU bottleneck because GPU utilization should be 9900% when it's like 97 and below, especially below 97%. That means that we have a CPU bottleneck. That means that CPU with a higher instruction per clock and higher instruction per clock per core will uh, utilize our gpu higher and will squeeze more fps hopefully guys this makes sense this is for the newcomers for the newbies uh pc hardware builders and uh, enthusiasts so he dominated round one round one is actually nothing I played against this dude yesterday guys, I, I, I won two games against him, so he gonna be so upset. Alright, so, we can do the uh, Saber Tooth, because the Saber Tooth can shoot the um, anti-artillery missiles, let's go ahead and deploy that. So we get, we gotta use that dude. Okay, so let me zoom out. I have Okay, let's go ahead and do something like that. Boom boom. It's gonna aggressive in the middle. And I'm gonna protect it with the field. And I'm gonna say, you know what dude? Let's go ahead and have a look cut about like that and one missile here then i'm going to deploy one more unit and this time it's going to be this guy right here the marksman just in case if we need one marksman anti-air or something like that and let's let's go ahead and do it like that and one missile right here hopefully missile gonna destroy those crawlers right here and gonna hurt this dude right here, the Tarantula. Let's see. Oh, he deployed some more units, so I'm gonna destroy those units. Check it out. And I slow down his Mama tank from Command and Conquer, but this is Saber 2 in uh, Mechabellum. As again, see those elements like a Command and Conquer, guys? But I'm a Command and Conquer fan and StarCraft 2 fan. I highly recommend this game, guys. This game, you're gonna have so much fun $14 completely worth it but as again you can get this game for $7.99 uh, on sale spring fall uh, autumn winter 
you're not gonna get it probably for six dollars uh, and 79 cents as I got it as an early adapter but you can still can get it for a nice price I'm pretty sure about it okay we dominated the second round round third redeployment I'm gonna use this this is her, how I can get the unit deploy whatever I want it and we're gonna deploy this unit check it out using this redeployment wildcard click on this unit I can take this unit and deploy whatever I want it and I want to deploy it here so if I'm gonna deploy it here we will try to destroy right here this this part okay but for me right now I'm gonna put it something like that okay and uh, let's go ahead and put the rocket right here so hopefully it's going to destroy two of them should I borrow yeah let me borrow guys I'm going to borrow from the next round and uh, I'm going to do more rockets just in case missiles and uh, like that and uh, and 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 uh, let me deploy more shields like that I'm gonna show you I have some strategy I'm gonna put a marksman who's gonna destroy right here this tower to slow down his units hopefully shield is going to survive oh check it out he did deploy the shield too that's a bad idea hopefully that marksman can destroy his tower I yeah, there's two units coming after our marksman guys if you're gonna destroy that and destroy the tower it's going to be nasty for him but he's kinda slow come on marksman because he's gonna slow down his units dramatically aye 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 he's they're, they're aggressively attacking come on destroy it one and one more do it man do it yep we did it so his units are so slow as you can see they're under the electro shot for like three four seconds I'm gonna destroy this big Sabar two big mama tank. I really like that new unit. By the way, it was a new unit that they introduced. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna dominate this. We're gonna dominate this, guys. Nice. And uh, my marksman destroyed his anti-missile um, station. So we gotta build new one. So now he has a problem. He's gonna send somebody over there, but I'm gonna remove that dude because I have that upgrade and he doesn't know about it. And I'm gonna put it right here. Check it out. I'm gonna click on it, click on this unit, and now I'm gonna put him right here. But now, now, let's give him this upgrade here, range enhancement by 40, so radius is increased, so he can shoot it earlier and as i promised to you while i deploy this shield we're gonna put this this guy right here and we're gonna shoot it check it out into the tower first and slow his unit down dramatically as you can see i received the rhino as i told you it's gonna give us the rhino we got the rhino see like that this is the rhino that do melee you can rotate the camera by the way guys in this game check it out and my runner is a gold skin. Check it out how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and put him here for now. Thirteen thousand megabytes view, uh, view usage, guys. So what I can do, I, I can borrow. Let me borrow because they're nasty, and uh, I'm gonna put right here one more shield. They're trying to go after us guys and uh, over here I'm gonna deploy one more marksman I'm gonna put him here come on succeed and uh, the marksman uh oh that's a bad idea but that one is succeeding guys check it out one two and slow him down nice this marksman did a good job he deployed the storm on us the weather effect the Valkar that he pulled up Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aye, aye, he's, he's dom dominating because he has a lot of units. But I just destroy a lot of them. But he's going to destroy our tower and everything is going to go frozen for three seconds. As you already know. And uh, yeah, not a, good, not a good start for us, guys. 
My guy is coming, nobody touched my guy, but he's useless. No guys, we're gonna dominate this round, this round four. He got only that's it, we dominated it. He's like not sure what to do now. Let me put one more Rhina. We're gonna start attacking with the Rhina. And what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna deploy here the Rhina first. Let's see what he can do. And then that that dude. And over here we're gonna put the missile to destroy those guys. Okay. Then I'm gonna put the shield so hopefully we can destroy that. Put the shield here as well. Like that. And uh yep, yep, yep. And uh let's put one more guy here. I wanna go after after the tower, hopefully. He's gonna go heavy on us guys. So he gonna go heavy on us and we better we better deploy more of those guys. Like that. And let's see. He think he can go heavy? Let's see. Let me put some extra oops. Extra rockets. Just in case like that. And uh one more by the tower here. And one more right here. Let me borrow it. Oh it's okay. Hopefully I didn't borrow it. Check it out. Missiles did a good job. My Rhino gonna destroy his crawlers. But Rhino landed at my dude and killed my dude, my marksman. I forgot if, if it's gonna land, it's gonna kill. But Rhino gonna do a damage. We're gonna dominate this round, guys. See, like I told you, I'm a good player one versus one. But I lost two rounds, but this is gonna introduce you that I'm a good player. Okay, that was good. That was nasty. We're gonna put two of those. And let's go ahead and put it like this. And let's go ahead and upgrade these dudes so they can shoot higher distance. Let's go ahead and equip this dude with a shield. So it's not gonna get killed. Let's let's make a couple of them. Come on, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Missile here. Missile here. Okay, and this dude, we're gonna equip. So it's gonna regenerate the health. Missile here. Missile here. Shield here. Missile here, missile here, let me put it like that because they're gonna come, okay, and uh, let's put right here just in case against the, against the crawlers, okay, so we got it, next thing, let me borrow and I'm gonna upgrade, so we're gonna lose this round, borrow, promote level 2, Promote level 2. That's it. Run out of time. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna force you guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill it, 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 kill it. Okay, we destroy. My marksman did a good job. My marksman destroyed the tower, so he's kind of frozen right now. But my unit doesn't do a good job while he's frozen. And uh, destroy, destroy one more tower, and we're gonna be great. But do it now. It's gonna do it now, guys. Check it out. Bam! And now they're in trouble. He got one more unit, and I'm gonna dominate him. 
Come on, Raina. Raina just took a 24 karat gold. Love it. And uh, he's, he's out. Minus 1,308. He's out. Defeated. He's defeated, guys. We dominated him. Okay, nice. That's it, guys. And as again, I'm I'm 501 server, as you can see. Right here. But you can select all kind of different servers. Check it out. This is the German one. This is the Chinese, French, Russian, American. I'm already in American. Okay. So um yeah, everything guys was shown and they just introduced that new unit, Tarantula. So we have all kind of nine yards. You saw everything and 7K video resolution, but new units is not going to reduce your FPS. So keep that in mind. All right. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As again, you watched the Mechabellum game running in 7K video resolution. As again, let me open up the display settings and zoom in using Windows Magnifier Zoom Tool. For those nice stairs, here we go. Check it out. See that? And uh, you can go like that. 6720 by 3680 pixels. That's it. This Red Cinema 7K video resolution. We're going to see some of the screens in 2025, 2026. Or if you're running 8K UHD screens, you can switch to this resolution because you can always create low resolution. And uh, you're going to increase your FPS and the visuals will be almost the same. Hopefully, guys, you like this video. As again, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys till the next video. Check out the video comments for the related videos. Check out 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K, 8K, 10K, 12K and whopping 16K video resolution test in Mechabellum game ever in 2024 by UGD King as I play 4K, AK I play 8K, AK I play 4K, AK UGD King. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, till the next time.